The 10th issue that non-coverage lawyers should be aware of in insurance law is privilege. Privilege is critically important. And by privilege, I mean attorney work product and attorney client privilege. Um, all litigators know what privilege is and all litigators fight zealously to protect that privilege. So the idea is if you're my client and I come to you and I say, hey, I got this big problem, as your lawyer, I'm not allowed to repeat that to the government or any other entity and just, oh, hey, guess what happened to this company? I'm not allowed to do that and I can't do that and I won't do that. That's called attorney-client privilege. Communication between us is privilege. There's also work product. And if I'm speaking to litigators here, I apologize. This is over, over generalizing things, but I think it's important to get the concept. So there's work product, which means, hey, we're thinking about a lawsuit and, and the lawyers go up and work some strategy for that lawsuit. And it might be spreadsheets, it might be memos, it might be, that's work product. That's privilege too. Nobody has a right to that. So there's these privileges, which the law has created and they've zealously held dear to. And most litigators understand them to their core and they understand what they have to do to protect them. But there's only one area in the law where that all falls apart, insurance. In insurance cases, people forget about privilege. I don't know why, they generally don't care. And the reason they don't care might be legitimate. Um, early on when a case comes up, you don't know how nasty it's gonna get, you're not sure if it's gonna end up in a claim. You don't, I mean, all these legitimate reasons to not be completely on your guard, but we'd like to encourage folks to be on their guard. The privilege issues usually relate to insurance brokers. Um, insurance brokers are critical, important in the process, and they can be critical in helping you settle claims. So no, no, no bad words about insurance brokers. They are very important. What we're saying is you have to be careful in how that's managed to protect the privilege. An example, one of the best law firm litigation shops out there, best multinational law firm um, there is, had an insurance coverage dispute. They were representing the client. Um, they brought the insur insurance broker in to um, ask, well, what do you think? Um, well, the insurance broker said, I, I don't think it's covered. So the insurance broker says, I don't think it's covered. Well, they said, what do you mean you don't think it's covered? It's obviously covered. Here's the law. Here, here's the way it works. It's covered. And the insurance broker said, no, nah, I, heard, I, I, I heard from the insurance company it's not covered. I don't think it's covered. So they went on litigating this case for years. Um, at the end of some point, the court issues a decision and throws the case out. The entire case is thrown out. The reason for it was the insurance broker said in a deposition, I don't think the case is covered. Didn't matter why, the insurance broker said it. You'd say, well, the broker's not the client. Well, the court said the broker was the client. And the reason is eight principles of agency. So they're hired, they work for you. They are your voice. Um, the court said, we heard the broker say it's not covered. I'm out, we're out, case over. Um, that's an example of what can happen if you're not careful in what you say and how you manage the broker relationship. Uh, we have many strategies to deal with that, but it's something you gotta be aware of because bad things can happen.